My name is uh, Jaume Puigbo. I'm a managing director of Signal Systems, a uh, label converter in Spain. We are the oldest and largest label converter in Spain. I've been uh, involved in Finet for many years. I've been a uh, board member twice. This is my second term. I think uh, self um, labels will be really very successful when we see self labels in Coke bottles. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I think one of the keys, as Hagen said, is the price of the label and uh, perhaps with uh, uh, linerless material we can achieve a better price. Well, the technical challenge uh, is uh, also how you uh, apply the label uh, that uh, doesn't go on a, on a backing a paper uh, at a, an, a, effective uh, speed, uh, high speed, uh, and a uh, label that is not rectangular, that it can be any shape. You know? uh, although in the case of uh, the labels that are now uh, using uh, this wraparound uh, system, uh, which is with a, a line of glue, uh, most of these labels are rectangular, so uh, here the shape is not a critical thing. Wraparound labels, uh, right. I think it's a very uh, threatening technology, uh, and also sleeves. I think these two technologies are real competitors uh, for some of labels. You can read simultaneously and uh, without any human intervention uh, many items. That's the uh, big advantage uh, uh, compared with the barcodes. But as uh, he said, the problem is that you can read perhaps 99%, but not 100% reading. And in barcodes also, there are sometimes you cannot read. But then you get a signal, and then you can either key in the information or try again. Uh, if it's an attended reading uh, in an FID, uh, if you don't get 100%, perhaps nobody knows until uh, you find out too, too late that uh, something is missing. One of the most important things is uh, to have a serious project of recycling of the release liner. This would be the most important thing to have a, a good, very good system to, to recycle the liner because this is the Achilles skill of our industry. Uh, if we uh, waste half of our material, uh, that's uh, in the long run is not sustainable.